Howdy y'all, I'm Anna with Always Right, and in today's video, we're kicking off the 12 Days of Christmas series. Yay! It probably doesn't mean much to you. Uh, basically, my intention with the 12 Days of Christmas series is to upload daily videos for 12 days in a row, starting on Christmas and following Christmas. Now, these videos are going to be centered on writing, but there will probably be some fluff days with some bookish content. When I say bookish content, I don't mean that I'm going to be reviewing Akatar or reviewing Fourth Wing or anything like that. I mean more along the lines of like the Barnes & Noble hardcover book sale, if they have it again this year, which I'm really hoping they do. And I have three goals for the 12 Days of Christmas series. The very first goal, which seems kind of obvious, is that I want to record, edit, and upload the 12 videos for the 12 Days of Christmas. Now, as of recording today, it is December 17th, and you may be thinking, mm, that's not on one of the 12 Days of Christmas, girl, I can count. I am starting the recordings a little bit earlier because of my next goal. And that goal is to start and complete a new fantasy novel in the three weeks I'm giving myself. And my last goal is to complete three more books before January 1st. This is, of course, for my reading goal I set on Goodreads. It is, like I said, the 17th. I've got less than two weeks to finish three books, and I, I think I can do it. You may be wondering, Anna, you have failed NaNoWriMo every single year, and NaNoWriMo is a 30-day stretch to write just 50,000 words. How do you plan on writing an 85, 90,000 word document slash project in three weeks? And the answer is that my position at my nonprofit was recently terminated. Yeah. And I know everyone says this, but truly, it's for the better. I want you to know that I am doing okay financially. I'm not in like a super bind. I'm not totally SOL. I'd seen the writing on the wall for the last two months. I just knew that I had some programs that my boss didn't want to take on herself or didn't want to try to find someone else to do. So I knew I had job security for the last two months, and I made sure to pretty much save every penny I could. Back to the question of how do I plan on writing this novel within like three weeks? Uh, mainly, I'm gonna be Nora Robert. I'm gonna give it the good old Nora Roberts try. If you don't know, Nora Roberts basically writes from eight to five, and she has like a 30 minute sandwich break um, around noon. That's right, I'm taking my 40 hours I would have worked at the nonprofit, and I'm pouring those hours directly into this novel. And I do plan on writing Saturday and Sunday on top of Monday through Friday, nine to six. So I'm throwing pretty much all of my free time at this novel. And another kind of secret, another way I plan on achieving this goal of writing a novel in three weeks is uh, not every daily video for the 12 Days of Christmas series will be a writing vlog. I absolutely love writing vlogs. They're so much fun. I love watching them. Not that big a fan of editing them, but I can just tell you that editing the writing vlogs, they take about two or three times longer to edit than just kind of like a video where I sit down, I record for 25 minutes, blah, 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 done. Oh, usually for my writing videos, I have almost two or three hours of content for each one that gets condensed into like the 15, 30 minute chunks that y'all see. So yeah, just giving you a heads up, that's one reason we're doing some of the uh, like bookish content, some of the just kind of reflective videos that are going to come. I haven't outlined them, I haven't worked on them, but just so you know, that's one of the main reasons is so I have more time to write. Now, the novel, I'm writing. The word count goal on it is essentially 85 to 90,000 words since it is a fantasy novel. Um, it's intended to be the first in a trilogy, which of course it is. Duh! I do have a lot of standalone novels that I've outlined that I've kind of prepped. However, this novel series just 
keeps bothering me. It keeps popping in my head like, oh, this would be great for this character to say, or this would be great for that character to say, this could be this and that. To maintain my own sanity, I am going to write this series. Don't get me wrong, I do have a novel that I think would query well and would sell well that's also fantasy, but that one's not scratching the back of my mind, you know? It's not scratching my brain going, hey, 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 look at this, look at this, hey, hey. So we're doing this series. And I really wish, and this is like stupid dream world dreams, you know? I so wish that I could write all three of these books before I even go back and do the second draft. That way I know what's going on, that way I know what I can hint at. XYZ. I, I don't know how realistic that is because you may remember from one of my previous videos that it is one of my kind of core goals in life, which sounds so dramatic, to have a published novel by the age of 30. That may raise some alarm bells for you going, baby, this is a traditionally published novel, I thought, which it is. What about just writing a self-published novel? I've got the self-published novel outline, she is ready to be released once I write her. However, um, I do want to do one more good old try, give it the old, what is it, the old college try? want to give it the old college try and see if this novel would be queryable, would be good enough to take out to agents. I changed my standard for being published. I think having an agent is good enough to be considered published in my mind. That would work. Let's do some uh, writing vlog stuff. Um, if you're wondering how far I am in the book itself, I have zero words written. I am going to calculate with y'all while I'm here. So I'm gonna go to show project targets and we need to figure out how long this novel needs to be. I'm going to assume it's gonna be 91,000 words. If I'm going to write a 91,000 word novel, let's say in 20 days, because I don't think I have a full three weeks, I have to write almost 5,000 words a day. So the session target is 5,000 words. That's hard, that's a lot, that is, that is, that's a lot. Um, that's basically two chapters a day. Love that. Um, I need to do one more character outline. Um, I have pretty much all of them. It doesn't have a lot of specifics on each character. I'm not good at going into specifics. Like, I hate to say it, maybe I'm a bad author mommy, but it's like, I don't know my character's favorite fruit. I, I don't know really their favorite color. I know, I know, I know, especially like fantasy readers, fantasy authors, y'all are just like staring daggers at me like, and baby, you wanna write a fantasy novel? With that, I'm going to update my character sheet and then cry because I didn't realize I would have to write 5,000 words a day. Let's do some more math because I hate myself. Okay, so that's 5,000. I'm gonna reset it to 5,000. If we divide that, oh God. What would that be? So I'm assuming I will get a good six hours. That is 833 words an hour, which isn't bad. I know during NaNoWriMo when I was really pushing myself, when I was really like tight on deadlines, I was writing about 1800 words an hour. So if I'm able to do, let's say 1600 words an hour, I need a little over three hours to write my 5,000 words a day. Oh, one thing I do need to do, totally forgot about this because I'm really good at my job. Uh, I, well, I need to have breakfast. It's 11 and I'm an adult and this is all I eat for breakfast because I'm an adult. <laughs> I probably need to outline this book better because my outline for it is a paragraph. I mean, she chunky, we appreciate her. She's about 250 words. She's a paragraph. I've got to fix it. <laughs> God, I gotta go find Save the Cat. I know, I know y'all are probably sitting there just wanting to strangle me and be like, stop using Save the Cat. But I like it.
We are back. I've had a quick little lunch. It's about 109. Got to save the cat. I also have uh, my computer freshly charged. And I have saved the cat on my computer as well. So I can kind of go off of this. I, like I said, I don't have pretty much anything written down for my outline. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get writing because I am delaying the inevitable, inevitable, god dang it. Delaying the inevitable. I can't do that much longer. So, let me outline. I'll let you know how long it takes. It's 1.16 as of signing off. I'm really hoping to keep this. Get it done by two so I have a few hours to write before I call it for the day. officially have, um, oh crap. I was really hoping, I was like, okay, I don't actually need the catalyst, but I think I was thinking of the uh, break into two. I'd like to have act one like totally outlined. Right now I have the opening scene, the theme stated and the setup totally outlined. Um, it would be wise of me to outline a little bit more, such as like the catalyst here. Uh, like I said, I have the first three of the five for the first act outlined. Totally beautiful. Like I can see it in my mind. I feel totally ready to do it. I guess, well, the easiest, well, the catalyst is actually really easy, so I'm gonna go ahead right now while I'm thinking about it, and I'm going to outline the catalyst because, like I said, it's super easy. Um, if you don't know what the catalyst is, as it disrupts the status quo world for a life-changing event. And I think I'm happy with it. I, I'm happy with what I have in my mind. I don't think I'm going to get all 10%. I think that's where the catalyst is supposed to take place is the 10% mark. I, I don't, I'm not gonna reach that today in my writing, even if I do get like my 5,000 words or whatever. I don't think I'm gonna hit the point for the catalyst. And I do know what it is. Did I spell tendencies right? Tendencies, there we go. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and outline it just real quick. It won't be hard at all. Uh, that way, I officially have it outlined to the 10% mark. If I was smart, 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 I would be uh, outlining all the way through um, to Act 2. But I want to get some words in. It's about... Oh, my phone is dead, by the way. I uh, spent a little time on YouTube on it and just kind of piddling around. It's 3.05. I've, I've spent longer than I wanted to outlining this, but let me do that. Let me do the catalyst. I'll be right back. Oh my god. This will sound so stupid, especially because your girl's sitting here outlining her book and like I just now really kind of developed some more intrigue, developed a little more plot, some more substance, mwah, using, you know, using the, one of the characters' names to really kind of hint at what it is, blah, blah, blah. Wow, this is actually turning into a novel, which sounds so stupid, but hi. Um, so my original story general outline I had, which essentially uh, is the plot for book one and book two combined just together, because why not? I was just throwing words out on a piece of paper at that point. Um, it's now 260 just for the catalyst. So this doesn't include the debate, which is the last chunk for the first act. And that's okay. I feel like this always happens with me. It's like, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna outline. It'll take me 30 minutes. And then <laughs> two hours later, I'm, I'm done, you know? And I'm not even done with the first act, technically. So, 
there's that. Um, my story originally in my mind didn't follow the Save the Cat so closely, but I definitely can see the merit in, especially it being the first in a trilogy, I can definitely see the merit in fleshing out the front end. and uh, First act, almost fully outlined. I still need to uh, do, like I said, the debate, which is the fifth and final section of act one. This is absolutely wild to me. The fact that I can even say that while outlining for this book that has been plaguing my dreams and plaguing my thoughts for the last two years, Oh my god, it's exciting. By the way, I fleshed out all of my characters and I gave all of them flaws. I will have a link down to a Reedsy blog post that I use that is absolutely amazing. Like 10 out of 10, super impressed, thought it was great. I really don't think I could have done it without that blog post. I think it would have been kind of like half-assed looking. Like if, kudos for that. That'll be down in the description. Guys, we're gonna start writing this book. And I know that they always say that the beginning is always the easiest, um, but I can tell you for a fact that the fun and games on this book and then the third act are fire. I know they're not outlined technically, but I know what happens in it and I am excited. I always get excited when I start a new book, but this one, this one I have the same feeling with it as I did for Feathers and that's that's really good for me trying to write a book in three weeks because I wrote Feathers, I think it was like 84,000 words. I think I wrote it in five weeks or something like that, five, six weeks. But I didn't have as much time on it as I do for this one. So, oh my God, I'm just getting pumped. I'm getting like more and more excited. Okay, I'm gonna go get my notebook, get writing. I, I'll give you an update probably like in an hour, see how fast I'm writing, see what I'm able to achieve. Hi, welcome to chaos. It is officially like 9.15. I wrote like a really solid 500 words and then I went to my parents' house to make them dinner just to kind of relax, you know, take a step back because at that point I'd been outlining for over two hours and I'd been typing away for, you know, about 45 minutes or something. I only produced 500 words during that time but I've done the unforgivable curse, the unforgivable task of reading back through what I wrote and I'm really, really happy with it because like opening lines are not my strong suit. Let's put that mildly. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a lot. Uh, I'm so happy. I super casually picked up my computer and I was like, oh, I'm going to Paris next year and the Orient Express is in Europe. I'm very well educated, as you can tell. I was like, so maybe my mom and I can go and we can just chill and we can have a grand time and we'll go to Paris and we'll go to the Orient Express. It, it was heavily inspired admittedly by Sofia Nagara because she just posted a video where she rides like the Amtraks and there were a lot of hiccups with it like basically the shower was rough XYZ whatever so I was like oh Orient Express Agatha Christie wrote that book you know with Hercule Poirot so surely it's got to be cool and like fun and that would totally be an option you know just as like a side excursion while we're in Paris how much do you think a cabin is? I'm, I really want you to think how much you think a cabin is on the Orient Express. It's basically like a double bed. Let me see, I'm gonna pull it back up. It's called the deluxe cabin. That is the cheapest, that is the most basic bitch kind of thing you can get. They say the 12 deluxe cabins invite you to disconnect. The sophisticated and warm decor with carpeted floors and wood slats on the ceiling provide the perfect backdrop to experiencing a journey of wonder. Plus a private bathroom adds even more comfort. Uh, when it's time for the great transformation, AKA the passage to sleep mode, that's presumptuous. I should have known just reading that one sentence. 
The modular space changes its configuration. The sofa unfolds into a double bed, and the footstools act as coffee tables and stools. It's magical. Uh, the details of the cabin is it is 75 square feet. Its bed is 140 centimeters by 190, which is a double bed, like they said. It's really pretty, like, stunning photos. They did a great job. Looks really retro. Looks really fun. Do you have a number yet? Uh, back in 2022. Not even for this year. Not even for next year. 2022. They said two are the twin cabins for this five-day journey, which is the deluxe cabin. To It's a journey from Paris to Istanbul. Cost... 47650 while Grand Suites, which is not what I was looking at, but they go for a whopping price of $150,000. And, like, all the suites are booked. I'm just like, damn, I'm in the wrong industry. I need to be a train, obviously. <laughs> anyway, um, thought I would share that with you. I'm going to get writing. Am I going to hit my 5,000-word goal? 923? No, definitely not. Uh, that's a hard no there. Not even like a soft maybe. That's like... No. Guess who just kind of woke up? Not me. Um, hair bra. She, uh, <laughs> had a Benadryl. She's been nibbling on one of her paws and I, I didn't want her to, like, damage the cuticle or damage, um, the claw itself. It's, it's hitting. It's hitting pretty hard, isn't it, baby? Um, I came back on to briefly discuss with you an error I have made, and it's an error I've made in the past. I am not new to my own writing mistakes, it seems. Oh, yeah. Um, basically, uh, I totally spaced, totally forgot that every time I set a large goal, like 5,000, 10,000 words, something like that, it's very daunting to look at the computer screen and go, okay, I've written 955 words out of 5,000 for the day. Um, you would think that I would learn this lesson better. No, no, it's like round two, round three or something with this lesson. So if you are planning on getting a book out for yourself in a very accelerated, very fast timeline, uh, you have to set essentially micro goals for your daily goals, which sounds so silly, but it's a lot easier to set a goal of like a thousand words, 1500 words for yourself and go, okay, I've achieved that. Let's move that goal post to 2500 words, to 3000 words. So, just, I guess, a note to future me, as well as future you, if you are setting, like, really crazy writing goals for yourself, like 5,000 words a day, which, granted, might not be that outrageous, might not be that crazy, but if you are, and you've never done it before, you know, or you've never succeeded at it before, uh, keep in mind, really keep in mind, that uh, you can put little micro goals for yourself. If you're writing your first server book and you're worried that you're not doing enough foreshadowing in the first draft XYZ, you know, oh my god, Anna over there at the Always Right is like talking about adding all this foreshadowing in the first thousand words. Oh, I don't have any foreshadowing in my first ten chapters. It's what a first draft's for. If I'm being quite honest with you, a first draft is truly intended to be a first draft, especially if you've never completed a novel before, if you've never done X, Y, Z. I'm laying this on pretty thick because I know it's a trilogy and I know what my story is. I've written novels before, I've completed them, I've done fan fiction. This is not like coming naturally to me, if you will. Uh, I would dare say even it's a little too heavy handed for a first draft. It's just, I'm trying to make every single word count because um, I have had to rewrite an entire first draft and oh boy, oh boy. Good summary is oh boy. 
this is coming from experience. This is not the norm. This is not expected of you if you are a first time drafter. So without my candy, my arm candy here, I'm gonna get back to writing. I can actually stretch my little legs out, but I'll be back with probably like a final update. Um, just wanted to say it's going really well. I would feel like I was able to showcase the flaws, kind of highlight some elements of the story. Guess who came back? That's right, Hera came back. Uh, it's basically, right now it's 11.30, like 11.24 or something. Phone is under her head right now charging. Cause like I said, it died. Uh, I was able to get 1,021 words, which is not 5,000. If you were wondering the exact number, it's, it's less than 5,000 significantly. But considering the three, four hours of uh, outlining I did, I'm okay with it. It's late. Normally I would be in bed by now. Normally I would be like 50 pages deep on a book. I'm calling it. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's a little kind of anticlimactic, you know, didn't reach my goal. Shocker, shocker, right? Today just really got away from me with laundry and just trying to catch up on chores, as well as having to outline. And I'm happy with how I started the scene, not happy with how it's continuing. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Don't forget to back up your work on an external hard drive or like a thumbnail or just something. And as always, let's get writing.